Hello, this is Whiskey Alpha 9, Oscar November Yankee. David had an intersection in Vancouver, Washington. Well, streaming to YouTube channel. And I'm doing this from a laptop at an intersection. And it's going to a Wi-Fi connection to a Linksys router. And then the Linksys router is connected to the Microtech QRT5 modem, which operates on a ham radio frequency of 5.88 gigahertz. It is sent off to a ham radio cell tower approximately 12 miles away. So I've got two cameras that are operating. I've got a laptop here out in the sun which I can barely see the screen. I should have got a screen shade. The uh, webcam that you see my picture in the upper right corner is the uh, Dell laptop's uh, built-in webcam. The uh, picture of the uh, QRT modem on top of a tripod, uh, the white uh, square box, is uh, approximately oh, eight feet from where I am. That's being uh, video is a Logitech C920 um, webcam that's plugged into a serial port. The uh, modem operates on 5 gigahertz with 30 dBm. 30 dBm is approximately 1 watt. Exactly 1 watt actually. And then it has uh, an antenna gain of approx uh, 24 dBi over an isotropic uh, antenna. The software that I'm using is called OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. It's a uh, free software download that operates on various operating systems. I'm running it on Windows uh, 8.1. So let's see. Oh, this is using the HAM WAN network. Uh, that can be at www.hamwan.org. And for more information about me, you can go to qrz.com, search on my call sign, Whiskey Alpha 9, Oscar November Yankee. So the purpose of this is to test streaming video that I'm out here with this portable uh, HamWan system and stream two videos, uh, one from the webcam on the uh, laptop and one with the Logitech to show basically a test feasibility of streaming this up to YouTube through the Hamland system. The signals go fundamentally from the uh, 2.4 Wi-Fi connection here and then uh, goes to the Linksys router that we see with the two small antennas halfway up on the pole and then uh, that's connected with a LAN cable to the Microtech modem. The Microtech modem then transmits at uh, 5.88 gigahertz on the ham radio frequencies 12 miles away. And then on the cell tower, there are several uh, lengths of backbone and eventually gets up to Seattle where there's a connection to the internet and once that connection to the internet is made it then can be sent to any place around the world. In this case I chose to use the uh, YouTube streaming capabilities so in practically real time why well, say real time there's approximately about uh, 10 to 15 seconds delay 
if I were to open up a YouTube channel to take a look at what the streaming is. So I'm going to pick up the uh, Logitech camera here. Uh, down at the bottom of the tripod is an 8 ampere hour um, 12 volt battery. Two Anderson uh, power pole connectors. One through the power over Ethernet cable on the um, Microtech modem. And the other one uh, goes directly into the Linksys router. Uh, so there's entirely self standing there. When it rains, uh, the uh, top modem is already uh, waterproofed and is designed to be out in the weather. Unfortunately, the Linksys router is an indoor type piece of equipment. And I have a two gallon, uh, or I think two and a half gallon uh, slip lock bait that I slide over the uh, Linksys router when the weather uh, rained like it was last week. Uh, this spot I pick uh, because uh, my wife Sue, she uh, has a uh, tutoring session here at this location and unfortunately because of my stroke I do not drive anymore so it gives me an opportune time to uh, experiment with the hamland and so forth. So I will, uh, let's see, I'm going to pick up the uh, Logitech and I'm going to move it back here and we're going to see the laptop, the mouse, we got a small little plastic table here to sit on the uh, laptop next to the setup. Okay, I'm going to, let's go and get closer to the Hamland and see some details. Uh, to do that, I'm going to grab this table. I'm also tethered. Uh, as you can see, I'm using a headset with a microphone. Uh, I found that the microphones on the laptop and the uh, Logitech really wasn't doing uh, justice in um, the audio. So I plugged in this headset uh, that has, um, of course, uh, ear muffs for um, hearing things but uh, more importantly it has a mic that I'm speaking into and as I speak I can see the mic audio uh, coming up and um, has a decent uh, volume so let's um, move everything closer and I'm going to grab the uh, Logitech and let's see if I can change things here. Uh. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is the uh, Linksys router. And uh, we can see that here's the cable coming from the Microtech goes into the WAN uh, port of the Linksys router. Here's the um, power pole uh, adapter. It goes to the connectors to the battery and then uh, plugs into the 12 volt input in the back. Uh, by the way, the modem back up here has some lights. Unfortunately, the lights are not going to be seen I doubt if you can see, but there's uh, four bars. In fact, uh, I can see the fourth bar kind of flanking. I'm going to adjust the antenna and uh, see if we can get a stronger signal. And uh, maybe I got to adjust the tilt a little. There, we got to stop blinking. Okay, and uh, let's go and take a look at the front of this, and let's see, and here's the front of the flat panel antenna, offers uh, 24 dBi gain.
And let's just do... I doubt if you're going to see the mountain off in the far distance. But uh, to the uh, left of that Silver Street pole light down the street, it's maybe um, oh, 200 feet. There's a black ridge with the white puffy clouds on it. And um, that is the uh, cell site. I can see the uh, dark outlines of the two of the antennas up on the top. That's uh, what we're shooting for. I've been to uh, 24, excuse me, 14 different sites that I get signals from. This is one of the few sites that I actually can see the uh, antenna profiles. The other sites I can only see the profile of the mountain. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, a very nice garden here on the corner of the street. As you can see, this is just a residential area. My car here to the right. Moving around. There's the, the busy uh, street uh, with the stoplight, which is to the west of us. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the webcam back on the laptop. Let's go ahead and uh, back up here so we can see things. Uh, the clunking you just heard was the mouse falling off. The case and the battery popped out. <laughs> so... Let's assemble the mouse again. <laughs> okay. Let's see which way to put the battery in. I'll try that. Put the case back on. Let's see if it's operating. There, there we go. Mouse is back in operation. This is a beautiful day to do this test. Uh, it's not raining, the weather's nice. Uh, the only disadvantage is that uh, we um, obviously cannot see the screen very well. Uh, let's see. To, uh, let's turn the laptop so the sun's not on it. Okay. And the purpose is I'm going to take the Logitech camera. Unfortunately, the reflection of me on the sun is uh, bouncing off, so that didn't really work very well. So we're going to go ahead and, st uh, and by the way, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, raise the, uh, here's the Logitech there it is. Okay. Here is the Logitech uh, camera that I'm using. Plugged into the USB port. It's got this real nice little bracket at the bottom. By the way, they, both cameras are set up for 720 HD high definition. That's, um, let's see, I believe that's 720 by I think 1920 I'm not sure I'd have to look up that so I'll ro ro rotate this back and take a look at the <laughs> Hamlin okay 
to open broadcasting uh, bro open broadcaster software is really nice with a couple clicks I can uh, put both of these two uh, webcams on the same screen I can add some text like you see WA9ONY and the 5.88 um, gigahertz uh, Hamlan and then I can even put text that uh, scrolls by and I put that uh, information about the setup and uh, it's uh, really straightforward to use the uh, nice thing uh, is that on the um, YouTube channel there are many uh, how-to um, little videos that uh, show you how to use OBS to stream just go ahead and uh, do a search on OBS um, streaming tutorials and uh, watch the tutorials and they will go through the step-by-step -step, uh, on how to set things up the um, Logitech, one of the nice things about it is that uh, it has autofocus on it. Um, if I were to use its software by itself, uh, I can take manual control, but what I've done is just set everything up for auto. And that basically allows it to decide all the parameters of um, focusing and the uh, brightness and so forth. Let's talk about Hamlan, um, and uh, I'm going to do this because I basically was going to do a half hour broadcast on this. And um, the nice thing is, is that I will be able to later go back and take a look at my uh, YouTube channel and actually see this um, that has been uh, rec recorded and saved by YouTube. Of course, we should really test to see if that has actually occurred. So, one of the things I can do here, as I can see the screen now a little better, is that uh, I'll bring up Internet Browse Internet Explorer. And I'll be moving uh, the Open Broadcasters down a bit. And uh, pick YouTube, so I'll type in YouTube. And then I'll search for on YouTube WA nine O N Y. Hit enter. You can see a picture of me, David Hayworth. And it says live now, and that hey, that's a good sign. So I go ahead and uh, click on the highlight now. By the way, my photograph is taken when I was in Florida doing astronomy during a business trip on the weekend. Uh, I went to the um, local astronomy club when we were in uh, Orange Grove, and they have a variety of uh, telescopes in the little dome there and Dob. I brought a small 80 millimeter refractor and had tremendous fun down there. So I'm going to click on the Live Now button and see what we got. And there it is, Live Now. So that gives me confidence that uh, this is actually working. It will be interesting to see the quality of the video that was recorded and see uh, if there was any audio dropouts or frame dropouts. So, I've got one person watching right now. Uh, so I don't know if that's me or if uh, KG7GDB uh, might be uh, watching. Um, so that uh, I announced this on the TechNet this morning. Um, in Salem, there's a repeater, WA7ABU, and uh, Dan's repeater has many nets on it during the week. One of them is Monday through Friday at 10 to 11. So I made an announcement this morning that I would be out testing this. So maybe uh, one person is uh, 
the one person is not me who's watching it, but somebody else. And uh, hopefully I'll get feedback to see how well that was working. So, Hamlin, I'm going to go ahead and close this because I don't want to be streaming video to me while I'm actually streaming video out. Now, one of the benefits of the Microtech, uh, this is kind of like um, second generation for the Hamlin network, and that supports MIMO. MIMO stands for multiple input, multiple output. And the way they do this is uh, two inputs, two outputs, is that uh, there's one antenna system that's vertically polarized, and the other one's horizontally. So literally one antenna can be used as a transmitter and the other one can be used as a receiver concurrently. And um, that's very similar to, if you think about it, is uh, how your cell phone, you know, it's full duplex operation. Most ham radio communications, um, especially in the, like two meters and below uh, in frequency, you operate in simplex. In other words, one person talks and then says uh, over and then stops transmitting and the other person starts transmitting and replies to that person and that goes back and forth. Uh, this is uh, very unique. Last week I worked with KG7GDB and we tested various duplex operations. One is uh, a kind of like a video call or a video, um, um, even a phone call using Apple products. That is called FaceTime. The second one was uh, using Google Hangouts. Uh, Google Hangouts advantages not only does it operate on the Apple products, but it operates like on Windows products and so forth. The um, neat thing about Google Hangouts is that uh, I used it to call uh, KG7GDB's cell phone. So it operated very much like a auto patch during that process. Um, that was exciting because it means that uh, from this uh, corner I could call any cell phone in the world using Google Hangouts. Um, and that's uh, operating with the uh, Google Chrome browser and the uh, Hangouts, uh, you basically s register like you almost register for all the software. The um, other thing, of course, is that um, the uh, video linking uses the phone on the uh, camera or use the phone on the um, iPad when it did that. So uh, the iPad does not have any cell phone capability. It only uses Wi-Fi. And it connects using the Part 15 Wi-Fi signals to the Linksys router on the uh, antenna that's standing out there. It's been exciting to uh, you know explore this technology. Uh, so it was several weeks ago that I got things going. The uh, first thing would be to test out the um, network time protocol server. And that uh, queries the uh, cell site and gets the time and updates the clock to the QRT5 uh, modem. Unfortunately, the QRT5 modem does not have a real-time clock or battery, so when it's powered off, it uh, loses its uh, time and date. But as soon as it uh, connects to the cell phone, it automatically, uh, excuse me, the uh, Hamland cell site, it uh, updates the uh, date and time. Uh, the other thing is uh, IRC is a, um, can be done with a browser, and that uh, it can be found on the Hamland website. Uh, main page. It allows uh, text messaging to be done between people who are interested in Hamland. If I were to open up an IRC uh, window with a browser, I would be able to um, basically chat with anybody who was uh, logged on. It's kind of like a chat room. 
the um, other things that were tested, of course, was um, browsers and internet connectivity. I uh, tested uh, Chrome. I tested uh, Google Earth, uh, Internet Explorer. I went to the Hamlin uh, website and then uh, uh, clicked on the MPEG file on how to configure a client and uh, watched the video full frame on the laptop here and uh, it was smooth. I uh, did not notice any dropouts of the uh, video or the sound. Um, now to give you some idea is that uh, the signals typically at this location are in the uh, 65, 67 uh, dBm uh, uh, area. And uh, minus, uh, excuse me, that's minus 65, 67 or so dBm, um, which is a higher signal than the minus 70 dBm, which is kind of like a um, uh, air, uh, threshold of uh, signals uh, greater than, I should say, stronger than minus 7 dBm, or would use the full uh, network capability. Now, since the uh, Arch Mountain, Washington, Hamlin cell site is at the end, uh, it has different uh, data rates as you head up to Seattle. The highest speed data rate I've seen is 19 uh, megabits per second. Typically on the connection uh, now, I would expect I'm running about 1.6, gig. Um, excuse me, 19 megabits per second. I would expect my connection uh, bi-directional full duplex be approximately uh, 1.6 megabits per second. That's one of the things I did in the OBS software is I configured um, the uh, data stream to be 1.6 megabits. Um, if you had a faster connection like some of the other places in the county, I've seen up to uh, 7 megabits per second. At 7 megabits, uh, I would probably run uh, 1080p, um, running uh, 60 uh, frames per second. Uh, but this is not a uh, location where I've seen uh, 7 megabit uh, data rates. It would be interesting to do that full screen, higher data rate, and see uh, what quality is difference it makes. Okay, we're coming up here in the last uh, minute of the half hour that I talked about uh, broadcasting. I, uh, for those who have uh, watching this, um, thank you for uh, watching this video. Uh, and, uh, again, Hamlan is a uh, amateur radio network that is high speed, microwave based. Uh, it ranges from uh, the northern part of Portland Oregon and it has links of various cell sites um, running ham radio uh, cell communications all the way up to Victoria, uh, British Columbia. So with that, this is WA9ONY, David, saying 73. Thank you for watching and I will now end the stream.